Back to the 1900s, okay? Physics is doing really good. Okay. All right, we've understood temperature. We we got we were um electromagnetism, mm -hmm. you know, Edwin Hubble's got lights. Mm -hmm. Like it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay? We got the phonograph, like now I can listen to music mm -hmm. and um like there's all this like everyone's like this is dope. Mm -hmm. There's there's two or three big conundrums, but everyone's kind of like not yeah. a big deal, yeah, yeah. you know? <laughs> Uh, we'll figure we'll it out. Get, we'll get there. We'll figure it out. Lord Kelvin said they're like these little like clouds on the horizon, but they're they're soon gonna part. Um, one of them is how hot things glow, so called black body radiation. You know, if you heat up like if you've seen hot glass, it glows, right? Um, a st stove top. The stove top. Yeah, stove the top. OG stove stove tops with the, the coils. With, yeah, yeah, the coils glow. Right. Um, and so the question is how, like when, when you heat something up, why does it glow the way it does? Um, specifically, why does it not like run away and glow infinitely bright? Mm. Okay. Because mm -hmm. that's what the theory was suggesting. Mm -hmm. The Boltzmann theory, which was the statistical, um, st stat mech theory of like how we figured out like PV equals NRT, right? Like our sense of temperature and pressure and volume mm -hmm. has immense success. Um, but at the same time, it's like totally failing when it comes to electromagnetic radiation, okay. when it comes to light. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is when we look at the sun and when we glow, like when we look at, you know, lamps of gas, when we put a gas and then we electrically spark it and we look at the light that comes out, it's discrete. Yep. It's not a continuous. The sun is continuous. But then if you look really closely at the sun, there's these dark lines. Mm. And then those dark lines end up corresponding to the lines that we see in the laboratory. Mm. So, so those lines are like, okay, what's going on? Why are there lines? And then the other thing was um, light needs an ether or something. Sound moves through, through air. Yeah. Water waves move through water. Yeah. Light needs something to move through. It's the ether. So, but what is the ether? Can, can somebody find it? Are we moving through the ether? ether. Does the ether itself have a velocity? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So all of these things are happening and everyone's like, we're going to figure it out. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah.